They seem like they're both responsible for it. Well, that's your opinion, and I respect it. I'm Emma Camp with Reason Magazine. Today, we're at the Republican National Convention. Donald Trump has spoken at the Libertarian National Convention this year, and he's explicitly tried to court libertarian support. So I'm going to see if some Republicans can convince a libertarian to vote for Donald Trump. I'm a Trump skeptic. I value things like free market, individual liberty. Why should I vote for Donald Trump? Well, I'd say Donald Trump's uh, resolute commitment to dismantling the deep state is the most effective libertarian thesis you could possibly hope for. He was talking about challenging the Federal Reserve, which personally I think we should be doing. Well, I don't think anybody's going to bring more individual freedom to individual Americans and the rest of the world than Donald J. Trump. Joe is incapacitated. The Democratic Party has kept the same rhetoric going on for years. You have to look at what's happened over the last three and a half years under a Joe Biden presidency, right? We've seen the weaponization of government. We've seen some constitutional freedoms be considered whitewashed and not necessarily upheld. Going after Trump for everything and anything that can get on him. Um, I don't think that would align very well with libertarian views. And hasn't Donald Trump promised to go after his political enemies? You know, he said he was going to throw Hillary Clinton in jail, yeah, right? So, he, so why would, why is Trump any different? Well, that was a campaign, sort of to get people riled up. So you're saying I shouldn't take this. Donald Trump at his word? Uh, some things, I guess, you could take him at his word, but some things, you know, you, campaigns are dirty. We can go through all of his amazing talking points and where the country was five years ago, four or five years ago. I mean, I wasn't paying $4.99 for eggs. I wasn't trying to figure out if I could afford gas. And then you have to look at inflation. Yes, the economy's gotten better recently, but inflation's still high. It's not dropping at a rate that we need. So you bring up the economy, bring up inflation. You know, a lot of that gets penned on Joe Biden's spending after COVID. But Trump spent quite a lot of money and really ramped up the national debt as well during COVID and even before COVID. So, you know, what's really the difference between Biden and Trump on the economy? The difference is how are we doing in Biden's economy? How are we doing in Trump's economy? First off, he's going to give more Americans their money back. He's going to cut taxes for everybody. I mean, is he really that good on libertarian economics? He just proposed a 10% tariff. I think there was an analysis that estimated that that would cost the average American household $1,700 a year. They say tariffs are taxes, and that seems like pretty big tax. Well, tariffs are taxes, and I, uh, the necessary evil is determining which tax are you going to go with. Both parties have to start tightening their belt and cutting their spending habits, but the spending under Joe Biden and the inflation created a big problem under Joe Biden. The economy really tanked under Joe Biden. So what, why should I vote specifically for Donald Trump rather than just not for Joe Biden? Say maybe that's a good reason to write somebody in or vote for the Libertarian nominee. Because you want better schools, you want a safer community, you want a better economy with better high paying jobs. In American politics you're basically faced with two parties and they each have things that are not, are good for libertarians, and they each have drawbacks and things that are imperfect or undesirable. President Trump is committed to uh, handling the immigration problem legally and, and uh, humanely. Isn't the humane thing to allow people who want to come to this country to do so, give them things like work permits? Legally, yes, not illegally. Well, I mean, it's nearly impossible to immigrate to this country legally if you don't have a relative or if you're not a skilled worker. What about what about people who maybe don't have a college degree but want to come to this country and make their life better for them and their children? They all, we also need unskilled white labor, but we want to process the immigration into this country legally like most countries do and around the world. I think it's wise, if you're a libertarian or classical liberal, not to trust any politician. And I think that on the balance, Trump is better he has a somewhat better economics policy, could be better in terms of dismantling big government, could be better in terms of not imposing taxes between imports and exports, but he wants a free enterprise system in his own light and the Biden people don't understand commerce, they don't, under, they don't really even appreciate private property. And so I think we're better off trying to put Trump in and influence him in a good direction. I think he's free markets. I think he's a businessman. I think he's going to do what's best for the country of business. Okay, can you expand on that a little bit? You know what? Thanks. <laughs>